Heavy Duty Motorcycles is the biggest custom bike shop in Queensland and I'm here with one of the three owners, Simon Yates. Tell us Simon, it's now even bigger isn't it? Yes, we've moved to a premises that's nearly priced twice the size of our previous one. Our other premises we'd simply outgrown. We needed a bigger workshop, we wanted more bikes on the floor, wanted, wanted to be able to um, give our customers more. Okay, and you're going to expand, I believe you've got two mechanics at the moment, how, how many more are you going to put in? Our workshop's got enough room for another two mechanics and we'll be putting another two in fairly, fairly shortly. Okay, that's terrific and you've got a barbecue facility outside, what else have you got here, upstairs? We've got an upstairs area with uh, helmets and jackets, all of our offices are upstairs, we've got a huge detailing bay out the back and we'll have our dino room going up out the back shortly. Okay, you've got some other things on the horizon too I believe with um, importing business. That's right Mark, we're going to become a uh, Raws registered workshop and we'll be doing importing of um, Harley Davidsons on horses big dogs and thunder mountains. Okay, but with the dollar the way it is, is that an attractive offer anymore? Still very attractive, Mark, because what happens as the Australian dollar uh, becomes less, the demand in the States becomes less and prices come down accordingly. So there's still bargains to be had, no okay. doubt. Okay, and if somebody gets a bike overseas, what sort of money are they looking at to bring the whole thing? And you do the whole lot, don't you? You do all the freight and all the, the paperwork and so on. What, what sort of money is it? You're looking at about 5000 including freight, depending on the model of the bike, but ballpark figure about 5000 Mark. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Look, if you're in the market for a Harley, come on down because there's 60 bikes on the floor here, there's some real great eye candy, and if something doesn't get your interest here, you'd always look overseas. Thanks very much, Simon. Thanks, Mark.